Hello guys and gals and welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Saturday. And you know what we do on Saturday is we play the horror. Well, today's horror is a little strange. It's called Revenge of the Colon. And, um, it's kind of how I've been feeling lately. Yeah, it's my next time. It's fun like that. It's cheated the city. But, you know, it's a bunch of stomach desserts. And you know what? You need to go to the doctor. Check your house and turn it on. Your colonoscopy. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a different kind of horror. It's the horror. It's the, it's the doctor. Anyway, today we're going to be playing uh, Revenge of the Cobra. I know, I'm a lazy streamer. Hey, besides, it gives you guys a little bit of time to get in here and have some fun. Don't want to miss Saturday Horror now, do you? Do you? I didn't think you did. That's right. I didn't think you did. <laughs> Definitely not the grammatical golden. No problem. Definitely not the grammatical golden. Let's turn music to oh, just to turn. Oh, let's turn the set off now. Just to turn it so. Sure, if that's enough. I'm not too much. I'm not sure. Well, let's go ahead and dive right in. You are a gastroenterologist, a specialized doctor with expertise in diagnosing and treating diseases of the digestive tract. The most common procedure you perform on patients is the colonoscopy. The insertion of a camera deep into the large intestine via the anus. You've been performing colonoscopies for decades and have treated thousands of patients. You are well respected among your peers and a regular speaker at all the important annual conferences. You have seen it all and treated it all. Nothing phases you. There is nothing you cannot handle. You are the Michael Jordan of gastroenterology. You do not know it yet, but this is your final week. What's up, Kai? Monday. Lost treasure.
scared to watch, I'm about to eat. It might be something that you don't want to watch while eating. I'm not sure. Depends on how strong your stomach is. The hell is that? A polyp. Best treatment is to cut it out and have it analyzed. Slice it? We gotta slice and dice? There's a bunch of them in here. Well, what's with the cinematic camera? Am I going deeper into the into the madness?
got to cauterize them wounds and make sure it stays nice and, uh, you know, nice and, uh, nice and, nice and clean. Flush out the corn, flush out the corn, flush out, flush out, flush out the corn. So much.
is unaffected by the flushing. Today was a good day. After you rinse off Miss Hargreaves' ring, you watched with delight as she slid it back onto her finger. <laughs> Yay! You will be telling colleagues and friends and relatives about Miss Hargreaves for years to come. Good anecdotes are hard to come by. You went to bed chuckling to yourself until you fell asleep, feeling happy. This was the last normal day. Tuesday, Hika. screws
thin shaving of metal. Carefully remove it and stop any bleeding that occurs. Shavings of metal? Boy, this girl crazy, that's what she is. What are you eating today? Oh, I'm having a ham sandwich and some cookies. What are you eating today? Oh, I'm having some nails. You know, uh, a couple screws. Some thin shavings of metal. I really like it when they shave the metal really thin. The thinner you shave the metal, the, the better it tastes. I mean, it just tastes so much better when you shave it thin. I mean, it's, it's just it's just great. I love the thin, the thinly shaved metal. Yeah. The coins really aren't thin enough for me. It's too thick. Like I need, I need a thinner, a thinner grade of metal. an iron supplement. Okay. Well, she's got plenty of iron, let me tell you what. She is absolutely fine. I think she is she is more than fine with the amount of iron that I see in here. She should just set up a shop outside her butthole that says that says uh, hardware store, because she's basically got a whole hardware store in her butthole. something normal a piece of corn for the first time ever like holy jesus
First she was eating nails that look more like tacks, and now she's eating like... These are like freaking tenpenny nails. From like a hardware store. I was joking about the hardware store earlier. Holy Jesus. You got... That one bent. Why did you... Jesus. She so gonna bleed to death. I don't need half of it. It's not even half of it. This girl got some serious issues, I'll tell you what. Seal them up. Laser beam, laser beam, radioactive laser beam, does whatever laser beam does, gonna laser beam all of it cause. Laser beam, laser beam, radioactive laser beam, does whatever laser beam can. Gonna go in the laser beam man. Flush, flush, flush. Flush, flushing everything down the drain. Flushing everything down the drain. That's right. Cleanse it. Cleanse it. Get out of here, Penny. I don't know why she's eating pennies. Get out of here. Something tells me that this isn't the least of what we're going to find out here. Is that a battery? That's a double-A battery. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's any achievements for scanning everything, but I probably should have been scanning everything. It's a little late for that now, but... I'm pretty sure eating batteries is very bad for you. Copper coin. Yeah, she got more metal in her than a freaking robot. She's ninety nine percent metal at this point. You know, I haven't scanned one of these larger nails. Let's scan one of these larger nails, too. A steel nail. Cauterize the wound, Doctor. How do you 
have that many nails in you and you're still walking around. Don't worry, ma'am. I got out the real dangerous stuff. I got out the corn. That corn won't bother you anymore. I know that corn was interfering with your ability to eat more nails, so... We got that corn out right away, don't worry about it. That evil corn is gone, don't worry about it. Take care of it. Probably is a hamster down here. I ain't even gonna lie. There probably is. There probably is a hamster. Um, Klinger. Klinger tries to frickin' eat an entire Jeep. He starts, like, lubing up nuts and, like, bolts with oil, and he starts eating, like, the whole nut and bolt. Flush it all out, flush it all out. We gotta flush it, flush it all out. Well, I, I, you know, I want to ask, like, is there anything worse than a razor blade and a piece of barbed wire that you could eat? But I'm afraid to ask the question because I feel like there is something worse. I feel like we're definitely going to come across something worse. It's just a matter of time. Like, she definitely ate something worse, and I don't... I don't know what it is, but I just... I already know that there's something worse. There's gotta be. Like, it's... For the, from the stuff that she's eating, I think barbed wire was light duty. I think that was light duty work. Like, barbed wire and razor blades, that was light duty. Like, the nails, the nails are light duty. Like, we, you know, we thought they were heavy duty, but no, no, they're just, they're just light duty. It's breakfast. That's breakfast. That's breakfast. Well, she has for dinner, on the other hand. Now that's, that is the serious meal. Okay, that's the dinner. 
She ate the she ate the nails and the barbed wire and the uh, and the razor blades just to tide her over until she got to the main course. Okay, just to tide her over until she got to the main course. Obviously. Obviously. A shotgun shell? Are you effing kidding me? A shotgun shell. Well, she topped it. She topped it. Well, let me just eat live ammunition. That couldn't go wrong. It's not like the acids in your stomach can potentially set off the primer core or anything. You really made a difference with today's patient. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't really think so, because she's probably going to eat more razor blades later, but, you know, for a light snack. It's been a long time since you have removed so many dangerous things from a patient's colon. You feel satisfied to have improved someone's life. To celebrate, you enjoy a large pizza with your wife and fall asleep watching old TV shows. Hopefully, not a pizza with razor blades on it. Yes, hello, Papa John's. Yeah, uh, I'd like a large pe pepperoni. You know what? Screw that. I'd like a large razor blade pizza with extra nails. Do you have extra nails? I would like extra nails. Not just the regular topping of nails. Don't give me that.
He probably has a whole fishing rod up there. <laughs> oh man, that's rough.
So many ticks up in here, and you shouldn't eat raw fish for fear. To end up with parasites too, because you'll have a thousand fifty two. What up? What up? What up? What a parasites got you in your butt are gonna get all of them what I cut them and burn them and flush them out this is what we do when you eat trout oh raw fish eater this is your fate Eating those raw fish, even though you know you shouldn't. Oh, ticks and parasites everywhere. Oh, look, there is one in your hair. A raw fish eater, why do you do the things that you freaking do? Eating raw fish straight from the sea. They might be tasty, but they're not nice to you. You know the worst thing, the, the worst thing about this so far, is that we already know from the previous ones that it just gets worse and worse as the deeper you go, right? So we already, we already know that it's going to get worse. Like, we haven't even seen the worst of it yet, unfortunately. We have not seen the worst of it yet. It's terrible, Michael. That's terrible. That's why your mom doesn't love you. <laughs> Oh look, here's the worms. Mm. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms play pinnacle on your snout. Seems to be poop, but not from a human. Oh, the worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. Wait, no. The worms crawl in and they don't crawl out and then they live inside your colon and they drink your blood cause it's real tasty and has a flavor like tomato juice. I'll pull the worms all of them out, we do not like them for the clout. They make me lose the weight you see, but now I'm going to go pee. Oh, the blood comes out of everywhere, and now we have to cauterize all the places that the blood likes to splurt out. The worms crawl in, they don't crawl out, they try to eat you in your snout. They think you're very tasty, sir. And want to eat you for dessert. The worms crawl in, the worms don't crawl out. The worms don't play pinnacle on your snout. 
Because they're not done drinking your blood. And this is what you get when you eat crawfish. A sharp piece of fish bone. So this boy's not content at eating the fishes raw. He's eating the bones of the fish too, huh? Saw blades to be cutting up the blockages of the soul. And that is what we've got to do, my friend. Scanners to be checking on the crazy things that they be eating. Look at all these parasites you see. Oh, saw blades for the chopping. Making it all go. Gonna chop up everything and then we're gonna know. Then we
is still in the wait the waiting room or the room with the guy, right? Man, the the jokes I would have for this dude. I would be like, holy crap! That boy'd be panicking by the time I'd be done. Like, I can't believe you ate that. Jeez. How many worms you got in here? How many fish? This boy just been eating raw fish his whole life, and he think it's all right. He's like, he's like, oh no, it's fine. He's like, you can eat raw fish. I haven't died yet. Yet. He ain't died yet. Oh, they'll kill you eventually. Eventually, you going dead. You going dead. You getting dead. Eventually, you dead. Okay. Because he's literally been fat his whole life. There's something a little, little crazy about that. Like, like how big, how big? I, I don't even understand. Like, if he wasn't eating parasites, how big would he be? Like, I mean, he's a fisherman who has a physical labor job, so he needs lots of calories. And when you're on, when you're in a job like this, you need a lot of calories. Like, you need a lot of energy. And, you know, like, for him to still be fat after, like, having eaten parasites for, like, 10, 15 years. I feel like there's, um, I feel like he'd be a biggest, he'd be a big a chungus. He'd be a chungalung. After this is over, he's going to plump right back up. He's going to turn into a big old monster. I forgot to take my vitamin. Take my vitamins. <laughs> 
Hey, some corn. I don't know how he got time to eat any corn while he was busy eating raw fish. Seems like he wouldn't have time. some extra healthy meta metal shavings and batteries oh man that's you know I don't think um, I don't think that's a good idea And clean is gonna be the bestest spleen. Washing now all that filth you see. He is gonna be so freaking clean. fish it does not look like it has been digested at all a metal fishing hook a terrifying and dangerous object remove it and treat the bleeding It's disturbing that the fish was crying. 
like a baby. I don't even understand what the hell is going on. Like, why the hell are you eating fish hooks, buddy? Like, is that, like, what the hell is even going on, like, with your life, right? That you eat fish hooks. You're almost, uh, you're, you're worse than the lady who's eating razor blades and barbed wire. Like, I feel like razor blades and barbed wire are ostensibly not really designed to, like, do what a, a, a fish hook is designed to do. Fish hooks are designed to get caught in flesh, and they are designed with the express purpose of not being able to pull them out unless you, you know, like, know exactly what's going on, the direction that you're pulling them from. Like, there's a lot going on with... with fish hooks that are specifically designed they are specifically designed for the purposes of getting stuck in flesh. Why would you eat a fish hook? Why? Why? Just why? Pearl in here. Boy. <laughs> Boy. I don't even know what the hell just happened there. You have never seen a parasite infestation as bad as this. The biological waste bag that contains the extracted parasites undulates as it sits on your desk. The fisherman was shocked to see what came out of him. Perhaps he will cook his food from now on. He left your office looking a bit shocked and weak, but you knew in a few hours he would feel much better. Yeah, no dip. Okay? No dip. Yeah, he's gonna feel 
way better. Okay, he doesn't. He's not weighed down by thirty pounds of parasites and fish hooks and fish and a freaking clam anymore. You send numerous specimens to a lab for analysis. Perhaps you have discovered a new species. At home that evening, you sit in with a Latin dictionary and look for interesting words to use for new parasite things. Your wife cooks spaghetti, but you cannot eat it without retching. Instead, you sit on the sofa and eat ice cream straight from the tub. You hope that tomorrow will be a boring day. But it won't be. What is coming next? Oh, dear Lord Jesus. I'm scared. Thursday. Meat. Another colon, another day. Deep inside the colon, this is where we go. To the large intestines and the small intestines too. Finding all the crazy things that our customers eat. I don't know why they are so weird eating things like feet. Razor blades and hooks. Barbed wire and nails. A human eyeball that appears to be rooted inside the colon. Remove it so that it can be analyzed. Tooth growing from the wall. 
I don't think this guy's problems are what he ate. I don't, I, this is the first time I think I can safely say this. I don't think what he ate is the problem. I think there's something seriously wrong with this guy. A lot more so than just simply what he ate. I have heard, um, and this is just something that I've heard in the great five of medical knowledge, is that um, cancer, when it grows, can sometimes grow in any cell that it wants to. So what does that mean? Well, like, when you have a, a cell in your body, like, there are certain cells that are made for certain things, like, there are things that are designed to grow teeth, there are things that are designed to grow, like, a tongue or eyeballs. Like, apparently, this is a thing, is that cancer can sometimes grow into, like, various body parts. Like, inside the actual cancer wall, there will be, like, body parts, you know, like, in there. Like teeth and hair and nails and stuff. They're like, because it's growing with very specific cells. And uh, maybe that's what's going on with this guy. Maybe he's got some sort of almost like cancerous type growth within him. And so he's growing like random body parts inside of himself. That's freaking disgusting, by the way. But I don't know what else to tell you about this. Um, which means that me cleaning him out probably is not going to do anything, because in the long run, uh, isn't it all just going to grow back? Like, at a certain point, isn't it just going to grow back? It's like a missing tooth up here, apparently. There's so many teeth growing in here. He should keep some of these, just in case he needs some when he gets older. He's got a whole bunch of extra teeth in here. Some of these are probably good, they could be transplanted. Keep them on ice. I mean, they're literally his teeth, so... Wait a minute, does this mean that he can see what I'm doing inside of his stomach? Like, is he in here with me watching me? Did I got like a job with you? I feel like he's watching me. Unless, of course, we're wrong. If we're wrong, and it's not, uh, cancer cells, and instead it's something else, like a monster in here or something. Like maybe a monster has taken over his soul. And maybe the monster sees us. He did say that he, he had a feeling from his stomach that, uh, like, the, like something was saying, feed me, basically, like, and was getting excited at the prospect of food. As if, like, when he went to go eat, like, the thing would, would get all excited that he was going to eat food. So maybe it's a monster down here or something, and this is, like, pieces of the monster. Swollen, 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 polyps in my colon. Swollen, 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 Rohan. Teeth and eyeballs swollen, got them swollen, swollen. Bleeding out my colon, blood red.
Hey, if he was in Fallout, he'd be rich. You know they pay they pay good bottle caps for keep in Fallout. You can use them in your bullets. Put them in a shotgun shell. Fire your teeth at somebody. It does some damage. Oh lord, now we're getting deeper. Hands, plural. We better not see no toes down here. That's just the serpent.
game is actually morbidly fascinating. I don't know what to think about this game. Other than I like it, but I also, um... dark in here. Why is it so dark in this part of the intestine? A large inhuman tooth. Uh, it looks like a fang. Look like a normal tooth. It looks like a fang, like a like a wolf fang or something. getting into here. Is this the freaking sand monster from Star Wars? Darth Colon. He's getting in the dark colon. It's not even Friday yet. It's only Thursday. It's a Thursday colon. seen any more ears or fingers or other weird objects. Just fangs now. Fang seems somewhat 
it seems somewhat uh, tame by comparison to a lot of the other stuff we've seen so far. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, they are fangs, but... I mean, is it really that much worse than teeth? I mean, they're a little bit more pointy, I suppose. I feel like the fingers and the ears were a little bit worse, too. I mean, you know, the little... Little fingers. Not quite as bad. The most disturbing content you've ever watched on YouTube. <laughs> Good horror. Is it horrific, Michael? Is it horrific? That's the question. Because if it's horrific, then I have succeeded in my job. For today is Saturday, and it is Horror Saturday, and I need it to be horrific. Are you not horrified? Are you not entertained? Ooh. It appears to be a small version of our patient's head. It is growing from within his colon and it is demanding food. Some remnant of an unspeakable horror. There is nothing in the medical literature that explains what you just saw. But after it was all over, your patient's demeanor had changed completely. Your patient stood up straight with a big smile on his face. He thanked you profusely and left your office looking like a new man. You cleared the rest of the day schedule and went home early. You went with your wife to your favorite park for a nice stroll. Afterwards, you both sat on a bench by the lake and fed the ducks. You are glad that tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> Friday! The Blockage!
motto always. <laughs> oh man, the lines in this one. <laughs> Oh, man. Be gentle. Always. It's just a polyp, right? Undigested peanut. It looks harmless, but it is best to flush it. Boy, you told me you chewed your food. I told you we were going to find out whether you were lying or not. Look at all these unchewed peanuts. Unchewed, unchewed, unchewed. Boy. What the hell is that? Lay now. This boy told me he chews his food. He told me he chews his food. This peanut still has the shell on it. <laughs> Dr. Phil has determined that when you said that you chewed your food, that this was a lie. This was a lie, an absolute 100% lie. He does not chew his food, okay? Do not let this man lie to you. He doesn't even take the shell off the peanuts. He just eats the peanut, just shell and all. Because apparently that's that's how you do it. You just don't even worry about it, just eat the whole shell. The shell's delicious, it's got the salt on it, right? That's got the... That's the salty part. Everybody likes the salty part of the shell. Mm. Don't you guys just swallow your, your peanuts whole? Like, isn't that how you guys eat your peanuts? Just swallow them directly. Pop them in, swallow them down. Oh, who bothers to chew their food? Not me. Not me. Who bothers to chew their food? Not me, not me, not me. Cause if you wanna chew your food, you're a plebeian, a plebeian. Only plebe plebeians chew their food, you see. Swallow peanuts whole. This is what we do. Gotta eat the peanuts like we're taking a pill. What the hell is this? That's a poop. It appears to be a piece of excrement, but not from a human. Not from a human. So there's something in here with me pooping. Oh great, we've got a visitor.
<laughs> is that a is that a door? <laughs> it's a door down here. Why is there a door? <laughs> Does somebody live down here? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Fang embedded in the colon. How did this get here? A fang? It's so unlike the fangs that we were ripping out of that other guy that seemed to be growing out of his colon, these are facing the opposite direction. So the fangs are literally pointing down, which means that something bit into the colon and the tooth got pulled out. You know how like a like a shark will bite into something and then like the tooth is left after the shark bites into something? Like that's the direction that they're in. They're not growing out of the colon. They look like something stabbed them into the colon. I think we've got a friend down here. I think we've got a friend. You've got a friend in me Inside your colon, yeah Don't ever worry, I won't let you down If you're in colon town
Sir, you have a clown in your colon. Are you aware that you have a clown in your colon? Well, I did eat a clown. When did you eat a clown? When did you have an opportunity to eat a clown? Like, how is that even a thing? Laser his eyes out? That sounds like a good plan. I like that plan. You know, this is a relatively clean colon, like, with the exception of the of the clown. Like, it's it's relatively clean in here. He did a good job keeping this clean. I'm, I'm impressed. You know, other than the fact that he swallowed peanuts, peanuts whole. I feel like that's a little disgusting. But, you know, I mean, well, I don't know what to tell him. Can I scan this clown? That appears to be a clown. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Look at those freaking Pennywise teeth. Let's hit him with the old laser. Ooh, dazzle, razzle, dazzle. Yeah, get him right in the eye. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, those are parasites. What the hell? What's up, Pennywise? Do you float? What's up, buddy? You're very scared. I hit your nose this time. End of the line, clown. I said, end of the line. Swollen, 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 my colon is swollen, evil clowns are rolling, raw hag. A triumphant end to a challenging week. 
All of your patients went on to make a full recovery. The medical research community was thrilled with all of the data and specimens that you provided them. But you felt you had reached your peak of your profession and decided to retire. I would retire after that too. You occasionally give guest lectures at all the all-important medical schools and conferences around the world. Life is peaceful and you devote your time to your family and your hobbies. You live out the rest of your life in happiness. The end. <laughs> Boy said, you know what? I've seen enough. Okay? I've seen enough. Like, this is it. Like, I, this was, like, the worst week ever. I've seen enough. That's it. I'm retiring. Honey? Like, there was a clown in this guy's anus. What? Yeah, there was a clown in this guy's anus. You mean, like, Pennywise? Yeah. Like, Pennywise the Clown in this guy's anus. That's crazy! Pennywise the Clown in this guy's ani. Alright, I figured this game was going to be a little short, so I did prepare a second game for you guys. Uh, this one was a recommendation for one of the viewers. Uh, it's called Night Bus. And uh, it sounds pretty cool. It's basically a game about driving a bus at night and picking people up and stuff. It's uh, uh, It sounds kind of spooky. Like, I, I don't know if I could ever be a night bus operator. I think that's a pretty pretty spooky kind of thing, you know. Like, like especially if you're driving at night and you're picking up people from bus stops. You never know who you're picking up. Could be some little old lady or it could be like a freaking serial killer for all you know, right? And... Um, this one should be good, too. Night bus. It says launching. Okay, good. Ooh, is that 720? 720p? Ugh. Let's not do 720p. That's... Let's get that. Those are rookie numbers. Music's copyrighted, so I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of here. See at the stop. Drop them off at the stop after the day. Not before. Stop after six six five is out of service. I look normal, but um, well, maybe just use your best judgment. Try to keep it as well. Can be a bit sketchy out there. Try not to panic. Don't stay still too long. And there's a cuddly kitty on the dashboard that can bend if you start freaking out too much. Cuddly kitty on the dashboard. Band, also banned. Do not forget Sam. Tickling me down here. There's an ant trying to get on. Okay, I got like. Oh, my camera broke? What the hell? Oh, I can look behind me? Okay. Shield wipers, alright. 
check. Side of the road am I supposed to be on? Are we in Britain? I'm guessing it's this side. Seat sniffer is the better than a colon munching clown, though. What? You guys don't want a colon munching clown in your colon? What's, what's going on with my lights? The hand biscuit. Have a good day, Sam. Pet a carol, stay calm. Pet the cat to stay calm. Dong dead? No, I haven't played that one yet. New puppet combo game? That's great. Uh, back it up, back it up. Why, hello. Are you on the band list? Get a shark in your cola. Don't get a shark in your cola. Don't get a clown in your cola. 
don't put things in your body that you shouldn't. It's really freaking weird, actually. <laughs> Not that bus. Nah. -uh. I might be done, but I ain't that done. You think I'm gonna on that bus? That bus? Oh no. No freaking way. No. <laughs> he said no freaking way. No, no, no. <laughs> That's right, the eye of the toilet. Everybody's leaving. Now I'm all by myself again. Alright, kitty, we're all by ourselves. Let's not try to worry about the monsters that are trying to eat our face. Bus stopping. What? There's nobody on the bus. Who's stopping? Everybody got off. Okay, that's freaking creepy. I don't see anybody on the stop, stop, stop. Six, six, six. Gremlins on the bus. Gremlins on the bus. Gremlins on the bus. Oh god, demons in the road. Don't stay still for too long on the road. There's nobody there. Nope, nope, nobody there. Nope, the demons come right by. I ain't seen anybody. I don't know where my lights are.
pet the kitty, pet the kitty, pet the kitty, pet the kitty. Just pet the kitty. Pet the kitty! So what happens if we just like don't pick anybody up? Like what if we what if we go through and we just we just don't pick anybody up? Hello there, welcome to the first day of post. Thanks for filling in so quickly. It's been hard for Let's do a let's do a quick playthrough where we just don't pick anybody up. <laughs> let's get fired. Get fired from our job. Bye. No, I'm not picking up any demons. You can't come to me. I'm not picking up any demons. None of them for me. I don't want your stinking demons, you can keep them, sir. I'm gonna drive right on through and I tell you nothing, no. Demons beamings everywhere, all the demons in my hair. Got the demons coming down from heaven to see me. Demons demons everywhere, look at all the demons there. Every demon that you've got for me. Oh demons, oh demons, I don't want none of your stupid demons. That's right, we the cat. Demons, demons, do 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 demons, demons, demons. Probably still gonna eat me in my sleep. Yeah, I don't care about you, boy. Haha! -ha. Bus didn't stop for you. You poor pathetic soul. Oh, unfortunate! Oh no, the demon got in anyway. I didn't even stop. He must have already been on the bus. All my ignoring passengers for nothing. All my ignoring passengers for nothing. Pet the cat, pet the cat, pet the cat. Don't let that cat. Oh, don't worry. This bus, don't worry about it. The demon bus. Don't you worry about a thing. Demons on my bus. Demons on the bus. There's demons here. There's demons here. There's demons on my bus. There's demons on my bus. There's demons here. There's demons here. I'm doing all of you a big favor. Don't get on the bus, poor favor. Cause there's demons on the bus, demons on the bus, there's demons here. We are skipping down across to the lake and gonna go away. There's demons here and there's demons here. Let's 
kind of fun driving this puzzle. I get a little kitty cat and everything. I get a little meow meow. It's kind of funny you just have a cat that knows how to drive buses. Ending four out of five. You're fired. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was gonna get fired. Oh man. Ha ha ha. All right. So somebody said there's a new puppet combo game. I kind of want to try that puppet combo game out. What was the Papa Campo game called again? It was called, uh... Dang it, somebody just said it. I kind of want to play it now. The bike seat sniffer. Pop 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 it combo whoa 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 pop 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 it combo whoa 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 Oh that's uh the new one is only on their Patreon? Oh man Pop it combo pop 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 it combo <laughs> Ding dong dead. Hmm. Bom 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 I think I might be able to download it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, it is. I think it is uh, Patreon only. Looks like. Looks like it's Patreon. Patreon only. I'm not part of their Patreon. Unfortunately. Patreon. Hmm. Looks like for five dollars a month, I can get access. Let me see if I can get access real quick. Pop 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 puppet combo. Pop 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 puppet combo. All right. Got to jump through some hoops here real quick, but it looks like we're going to be able to download it and play it.
All right, ding dong dead. Here it is. Download. It's not a very big game, so should be able to boot this up and play it in just a second. We got it, boys. The ding dong dead puppet combo. A letter from my parents congratulating me for getting my own apartment. Chapter 1 the Controls Wazda. Left click to interact. You should know that by now. Right click toggles your inventory on and off. Your inventory. With your inventory toggled, you can left click on any item and then drag that item to an object to wish to use it on, and then left click again. Simple as that. Some of the items in your inventory can be combined and create something new. Just select an item and then left click on them and we'll combine it with a presto until the items can be combined. Some items in your inventory are weapons to use, for example, guns or knives. To use these, left click on them in your inventory and you will automatically attack with them in the direction you are facing. This is your house. Right now, the only things you can do here is leave, start your babysitting job, or waltz over to your computer and start to load a save game. You're safe here, probably. Your stats show abilities in the form of the five most important attributes a person can have. Doing things in the game world will increase your stats. For example, reading an algebra book will increase your brains. You will come to find your favorite stats boost as you play the game. Have fun and try new things. There are three endings to achieve, which is solely based on your in-game actions or inactions. Hmm. Moxie? Sexiness? An ad I saw looking for babysitters. It's weird that I answered it. I've never babysat before. I can't explain it, but walking by it on the street, I just felt drawn to pick it up. Weird. A lighter. I don't have anyone to call right now. My collection of books. I just keep them here to look smart. I've never read any of them. My grandma left these to me when she passed away. Uh, my computer. Okay. Guess we're going to babysit, boys. <laughs> babysitting job, babysitting job, it's a babysitting job. What do you got, popcorn? Floppy disk. New item found. Can be used to save at your computer. <clears throat> Hello there. Ah, welcome. Thank you for watching our sweet angel on short notice. Yes, I have a very important ceremony to attend tonight that we simply could not miss. Not lest I am overlooked for a future promotion. Yes, we simply could not have that. Money is on the counter. Please order some pizza for Rex and yourself. Rex can stay up as late as he wants. We're using reverse psychology to make him want rules by not giving him any. Plus, we're tired of being parents. Remember to lock the door behind us. You can never be too careful these days. Yes, that's very true, dear. Oh, also, try not to have too many lights on at the same time. Uh, something's been going on with the fuse box. If you forget on the power trips, just reset the fuse box and you'll be fine. You did remember to lock all the windows, dear. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> 
If it's your first time babysitting, we left a note of instructions on the counter. Now come on, sweet cheeks, we mustn't be late! I would say call us if you have any trouble, but I know Rex will be an angel. Rex is not gonna be an angel. I can give my friends a call too, since the parents obviously don't care. Lock door. Don't to have too many lights on at the same time. You gained brain points. I gained brain points, guys? Are you you guys are seeing this? Call pizza guy. I don't know the number. Oh, they got a Nintendo. My favorite game is Slap a Steve. It's fun because you get to slap a Steve. This is a pretty old TV. I'd turn it on, but it looks like the power button is stuck. I wonder if there's a remote. Hmm. It's an old newspaper. One of the side editorials are about the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper. A young man whose name is being held from the public due to him being underage will be found guilty of all murders. He is to be sent to the state insane asylum for an indefinite amount of time. However, there is an outcry from citizens of the city that this is not enough. The ding-dong deaths that rattled the community was thought to be the working of a large older male due to the brutal nature of the killings that left most victims ripped from sternum to groin and tortured while kept alive in an attic that belonged to the young man's family. These murders were far from so for, for, were from so long ago. I wasn't even an old enough to remember. I wonder why they have such an old newspaper lying around. Guess I can take this with me. It might be useful. Okay. Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? <laughs> the hell was that? Some prank. Okay. Just some useless knickknacks inside. Got a light switch over here somewhere? Like, holy Jesus, it's dark in here. Super dark, super dark. Honey, we have to get rid of that damned cat. Not only is it killing my allergies, but I saw it eat a key. What kind of cat does that? I don't even want to think about getting that key back. Can't reach the cat food. See, I that brat will be easier to watch if I order some pizza. Ah, uh, Papa Joel's. Hey, <laughs> Papa Joel's. They've got the best pizza in town. All right, I got their number now. You've gained Moxie points. Ah, uh, yes, Moxie. Just a bunch of junk. Hot food Armageddon. Ooh, a flashlight. It's like 18 pipes on this thing. What kind of hot tub is this? Hmm. 
the back area. We got a pool back here. Oh yeah, I don't have any batteries for my flashlight. Well, close the door. The frickin' back door to the... Okay. It's about to say. My lighter? I gotta light it. Oh, okay. It's a stereo that ran on batteries. I don't have any reason to use this. Yeah, well, I can open it up and take the batteries out. What's up, <laughs> Cute. That's weird. It's stuck. It looks like there's something stuck in the keyhole. Okay. Oh, cool. I love fish. That's right. Fish. Looks like all the books are about hot dogs. Hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. Full of hot dog recipes? How can there possibly be that many hot dog recipes? No. <laughs> Hey, we found another window. I locked it. I have a feeling lighting the candles is going to get me into trouble. Let's go order some pizza, shall we? Somebody just knock on the door. We ain't order no pizza. Yeah, this is Papa Joe's, where we make pies that blow your mind. This is Tony Pepperoni, what do you want? Hey, uh, yeah, I could uh, usually eat a large pizza with uh, pepperonis. Interesting choice. You know, they say what kind of toppings you put on a pizza tells you a lot about the person. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, we'll get this pie rolling over here. It'll be about 30 minutes, capiche? Nah, nah. You're already in our files. See you soon. Hey, say, what was that ointment you recommended me last week? My sphincter is scabbier than a hose knees. It's like I'm squeezing out lava over here. Call me back when you can. Oh, and tell you no good husband he'll never get that promotion unless he starts whoring himself out. My sphincter? Actum! Actum! Urgent news to our suburban residents. It seems there has been a pandemonium at the state asylum tonight. The boards say that a fire broke out, and a handful of inmates, <coughs> I mean patients, <laughs> have escaped. They're not 100% clear right now, but according to sheriff officials, not every single patient has been accounted for. You sexy beast don't need me to remind you that tonight is the 10 year anniversary of the brutal Ding Dong Ditch Vipper Murders. Well, your favorite handsome DJ will remind you that the Ding Dong Ditch Vipper himself, who was a young boy at the time, who was found guilty of brutally blood ginning five people to death over the course of a one night in a sleepy neighborhood of the boulevard is or was being kept at the hospital. Wouldn't it be a heck of a story if he was actually one of the inmates who escaped on the night of his anniversary? Oh, good in him. Tis the spooky season, but I would hate to be anywhere near his old stomping grounds. I shivered in fear at the fault. DJ Hans Dankenstein, out! Dankenstein.
The ding dong ripper, the ding dong ripper. It won't open. Something's holding it shut from the other side. July 13th, 1984. I'm still left breathless with the recent events that have happened in my life. Just half a year ago, I would have seen myself living the rest of my life single and unmarried. The only thing to care for being my lovely cat, Mr. Jinkies. But ever since I met Kenneth, my world has changed for the better. Everything has been so perfect ever since. He is my best friend, and we have built a life that I believe most people would take decades to build. He is truly my knight in shining armor. I was a bit apprehensive about Rex. I never intended to be a mother, nor did I ever picture myself having children, but he has grown enough to where, after a while, we seem to have accepted each other and have become friendly. Why, I dare find myself looking forward to watching him grow into a young man. We really are happy family now. I couldn't picture it being any more perfect. Ever since being married and moving into this house, the Kenneth, house Kenneth and Rex have lived in for a decade, even after the accident. What accident? Ever since then, I feel as though Kenneth has begun to change a bit, or maybe not change, but perhaps getting to know him better. To be fair, we haven't known each other very long in the grand scheme of things. He still is the sweet, caring man that I married, but now I see a darkness in his eyes. Not a hateful, evil darkness, I feel, but more a sad, broken-hearted darkness. A darkness created by the shadows of a black cloud hanging over him. I'm not surprised when I think about it. I could not imagine having to go through what other, what both he and Rex had to just a few years before. He is truly a strong man to keep pushing on for his partner and child. I hope to help banish that dark cloud through our time together as he banished mine. I'm starting to become terrified. I have the rest of the pages have been torn out. Okay, what is that? A hairpin? Maybe I can pick a lock with that. Gun case? There's a few guns inside. It's locked up though. Okay, so there's a gun in here that I can get if I can find the code. A back scratcher. Used for scratching backs. It has other purposes. Oh, another floppy disk. Nice. Adhesive? A small door. It's locked. It looks like a crawl space. Crucifix on the wall. What's up, Rex? You did scare the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Filled with used tissues. Gross. A cassette tape. What else you got in here, Rex? Uh. Okay. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, I got you, you so good. good. You screamed like a girl, you. I take it you're Rex. I'm your baby. I ain't no baby. Right. Do you want any pizza? No. I bet you'll get your bitch germs on it. All right. If you're gonna act like that, then just stay in your room. Oh yeah. And what if I don't? 
threatened physically, I'd probably backhand the crap out of you. I respect that. You're pretty cool. Res Rex respect increased. You gained moxie points. Yay, moxie points. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot to check. Does he have a window? He does have a window. Hey, I got I got many brain points now. Look at all my brain points. I got so many points of the brain. It's a door, probably to an attic. I can't reach it though. Time for the back scratcher. I can't reach it with this, but I can't get a grip on the latch. I can reach it with this, but I can't get a grip on the latch. Huh. Problem solved. Now we can go into the creepy attic. I feel so weak up here. Like something is draining me. I just want to close my eyes. Don't close your eyes. There's a note tucked away up here. We must meet him tonight. Honey, hire a babysitter. I'll say I have work. A ceremony to attend. Please remember to keep your mind clear. He cannot suspect a thing or we are all doomed. Once we're out of this danged house, we'll go straight to a professional who I hope will help us. Stay strong, my love. Clown puppet. Very realistic wooden clown puppet. At least I think it's a puppet. I'm not touching it to find out. Paper bag. Exactly what I always wanted. Just walk on some bleach. Okay. Mmm, bleach. Do I want to go in there? I don't want to go in there. You know what? Let's get out of here. Let's leave. Let's leave. Actually, hold on. I saw something, and I just realized it now. There was like a boarded up thing on the floor right here. like it was written by a kid a long time ago. Please leave my family. You can have whatever you want. Just don't hurt my mommy and daddy. I'll do anything you ask me. Just please get outside of my brain. The ringing, the ringing is driving me insane. Why did you even come here anyway? The wardrobe is nailed shut. I do not believe I have what it takes to open that. Okay, I'm not sure how the hell am I going to nail that window shut. That doesn't seem possible. Okay, that should be the pizza man. Hello, pizza man. Not the pizza man, not the pizza man, not the pizza man. Shut the door. Lock it. Probably already let in a demon. Demon, demon, two thumb beaming. Hip G Hillary. Let's call my hoe. Let's call the hoe Hillary. What's up, Hillary? Hello? 
Hello. Hey, Hillary, it's me. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm about to head out for my yoga class. Oh, yeah? You gonna do some stretching? Betcha, I could help you stretch out just as well. I have a house all to myself right now. Sexy this check fail. <laughs> nice try. If that's your way to seduce a girl, you've got a lot of lonely nights ahead of you. Dang, only if I was a smooth talker. I need to find a way to be sexier to get Hillary to come over. Hip G. How do I increase my sexiness? What's up, you talking to Hip G, fool? What's up, G? My spirits. Now that my best friend has called his top dog Hit G, what you doing tonight, Matt Player? Just babysitting. Gotta make that cash. That's how it is. Know this. Hit G is proud of his little homie. Are they treating you right over there? They better be, or Hip G will be driving by windows down in a minute if you feel me. You got snacks? They gave you some snacks and some soda pops? Yeah, no, it's a good family. I think it's uh, all, all off the boulevard. Off the B? Homie, you're in that sweet stank. I'll be over in 15. Click. I ain't even tell him where I was. He already knows. He lied. Where my pizza at? I ordered that pizza like decades ago. I need to find the TV remote, apparently. Need some batteries, too. A thong? Oh, I got some sexiness points. I got a thong. Hey, I got some sexiness points. Let's call Hillary back up. Maybe we, maybe we can do it now. Hello? Hey! Uh <laughs> nice try. It sexiness check failed again. We need more sexiness, boys. That's it. Operation Sexy. We need as much sexiness as we can get. Hey, you cool cats! Is a ever update from your cool daddy, DJ Hans Dansenstein? You freaks are gonna want to stay inside tonight! Seems like our weather nerds say a storm is set to roll in soon. Should be an ugly one, they say, so don't be surprised if you experience power outages. Get those candles and flashlights ready, folks. Button down your hatches, keep your clothes dry and your crutches wet as we strap in for a cozy evening. Dungeon style. And your crotch is wet? Okay. No reason for me to play this tape right now. Maybe later, though. Huh. I need some sexy nest do jinks food bowl. I need to feed the cat so the cat'll drop me the key. A protein bar. You gained muscle points. Yay. I gained muscle points, boys. I got a knife. I got a cool knife, knife, a kniffy knife. I got a freaking kniffy, a kniffy no knife. Now don't get me wrong. Oh my God, it's filled with trash. Here's a rundown of your five skills. It directly influences how much damage you deal with weapons such as knives. Brains, believe it or not, this is how smart you are. Most solving skills. Some puzzles you will not even be able to attempt if you don't have enough brains. Moxie, mostly used when talking to people. Not only does Moxie unlock new invisible dialogue choices with NPCs, but it also will allow you to get them to do what you want. Nobody listens to a Moxie-less fool. Agility, this determines how fast you move. Think you move too slow? Get some agility ASAP. This could be important if you have anything you want to run away from. Sexiness, a true mystery stat. I is it a secret to unlocking true power? Is it a completely useless? Who knows? Hmm. Huh. 
Oh. Bag face, bleach, knife. What the hell do I need all this stuff for? I'm so confused. I need some batteries for the flashlight. Actually, I could search around outside. I really don't think it's a good idea, but let's do it anyway. I mean, we're in a fenced-in backyard. Granted, it could still be back here, but... Okay, that scared me. Not gonna lie. Tiki torches. Looks like it's locked. Maybe Rex knows where the key is. There's a shed out here. There's also a pool. And a box. Anything else out here? Fenced in. I mean, the whole backyard's fenced in, so I guess this isn't like too terrible. But it's not like somebody couldn't like climb over the fence. Can't get the cat food because I can't reach it. Let's try my sticky bag crasher. Oh, the cat popped up. What's up, kitty? Um, I got you some food. Here you go. Can you like? Poop out the key for me real quick, that could be nice. If we could like deuce that key out. Let's go ahead and just it's good. Just just poop it. Just poop it poop it. All you gotta do is deuce it. Poop out the key onto the floor. Poop out the key and do it no more. Just poop it. Poop it. Pooping out the key, doosing out the key. Come on, little kitty, I need the key. Just poop it. No, not gonna poop it. Okay. I'll come back later. Check, see if you poop it out. All right. This is important stuff. Want we'll to make sure you poop the key out. Why would I want to open this? <laughs> you wouldn't. It's a trick question. Where's the litter box? Uh, that's the question. Okay. Let's look around some more. See what else we can find. was that noise? Is someone in the house? Seemed like someone might be in the house. Of course, I don't have the code for the doojank. Piles of trash bags. They look like old stuff. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Hobbies. <coughs> so Rex, do you have any I hobbies? Like I like hiding in the wardrobe. It's great. No one ever thinks to check in there with their looks. I also like to make traps. Like in that one movie where the girl puts gunpowder in a light bulb and puts it in a lamp, and then when the guy turns it on, it blows up. It works. Pizza's here. on the doorstep? Okay. It's a little creepy. Not gonna lie. Shut the door. Lock the door.
What's up? What's up, Hip G? The hell are you doing walking in here? Why are you, where are you in the garage? I couldn't find a bathroom. How did you even the front get door inside? was open, man. Don't you be happy to see me? Looks like there's nothing to do around this place. Hey, homie, what's troubling your mind? Lay it on, Dr. Hip G. I don't know. I just have bad feelings about tonight. My mind feels fuzzy. See, even more reason for me to stay. I'll be your mental clarity. If anyone try to mess with you tonight, I'll bust out my nine and... Uh-oh. What? I guess I left my chrome in my other pants. <laughs> it happens from time to time. More times than not, though. Great. You're a real hero. Well, man, I'll still be here for you. At least I can offer a good conversation. Just ask Hip G anything, and I might have something useful to say. Okay. I'm gonna put the pizza down. Where do I put the pizza? Da, da, da. Over here, maybe? You ain't done eating yet. Come on, poop out that key. You ain't got time for this crap. That's right. You ain't got time. You ain't got time, you got time, you got time. In this. I could use this to poke the key out, but then there's nothing underneath to catch the latch. Okay. So there we go. Key fell on the newspaper. Key to the bathroom. Surprisingly, it unlocks the bathroom. No, that's the door is unlocked now. Hey. Why is there poop on the wall? It looks like it's covered something, but I'm not touching it. What if we scrub that jank off with some bleach? Uh, we need something to scrub it with. Poop on the wall. A cloth for wiping down loads. We found a load cloth. Okay, well let's combine the bleach and the cloth. You gained brain points. Wipe the poop off. 296 is written on the mirror. Okay, so 296 must be the code for the gun cabinet. Oh yeah, let's take a two so quick. Hey, agility points gained for taking a deuce. See, I told you, always, always go before you go. Laxative used to unclog holes. The hell? Two nine six. Let's go get the pistole. Sex ed book gained more sexiness. Hey, I got two sexiness now, boys. Maybe we can get Hillary to come over. Let's go call Hillary now that we've got two sexy points. Oh, Hillary! Would you Hello? like a ride on this horsey? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm about. I could help you stretch out just as well. I have a house all to myself. You're kind of corny, you know that? But yeah, we can hang out. I'll be right over. Hey! Now we got the sexiness going. 
Oh, that's not Hillary. She can't be here that fast. Evil demons. Evil demons. Evil demons. Oh, what's up? Is that Hillary? Wow, you were so, here fast. So, you going to invite me in? Yeah, of course. Come on in. You got here fast. I was in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah? You was just circling? You were circling the block, waiting for that D? You were waiting for that D? You were circling the block, waiting for the D? How's it going? I like your little yoga outfit. It's, uh... It's got tight there down at the bottom. Got a little... Got a little camel toe so showing there. So, this is what I missed yoga for? Ask for sex? Wanna hear a joke? Okay... Why did the golfer, the golfer bring two pairs of pants? Um, I'm not sure. Because he thought he'd miss, just in case he got a hole in one. That's pretty clever. You're splitting my sides. Moxie three. <laughs> we got three Moxie so boys. This... Moxie check succeeded. So what's your story? We've known each other a, a, a few weeks, and I'd like to know more about you, like the real you. Can we go slow with all of this, please? There's a lot about me that you don't know, and I really just want to be sure you're going to be around. Like, long term. I know, but some things are just... Uh, I don't know. What's up, AKS? It's hard for me to open up emotionally, I guess. I'm working on it, though. Comfort. Thanks. That really does... Here, take this. Just so you know that I'm serious, this has been in my family for a while now. It's supposed to give you protection when you're at your weakest. A pendant with a strong aura. You know it will help when you need it. So, this... Okay, let's talk with my boy over here before we start asking for sex. I'm doing all right. Been busy lately. Trying to get my new business off the ground. Oh yeah, what is that? I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> you could be my first customer. 50% off your first purchase. But that's after a 20% markup, unfortunately. You know how the economy is with all the recessions, processions, and concessions. Yeah, sure. What do you want to do? How about you turn some tunes on? It's quite as a tune. Uh, ask relationship advice. Hey, Hib, you're a ladies' man. Got any advice? I want to start sweeping Hillary off her feet. You want to sweep a fine lady off her feet, huh? Listen closely as I take you to class. And most importantly, remember to treat the ladies with respect and dignity. Chicks love that for some reason. If you're beyond reproach, the bullshit can't approach, dig? I guess. Hey, that's what my Uncle Stan says. And you ain't going to question Stan the man, are you? No, never. Thanks, baby. I'll try that with Hillary. <laughs> oh, look at you. A certified heartthrob. Sexiness three, boys. Okay, got any bullets? Yeah, nice. Nice try, hombre. I need more moxie. Let's go talk with the kid and let's see if we can get some more moxie with uh, talking to him. Uh, mask? What's with the mask? Moxie checks. I like it, so I wear it. Is that a problem? No, it just seems weird to wear it inside. Did you get to go trick or treating earlier? No. no. Ask why. Because I Cause wasn't allowed to leave the house, okay? I thought your parents didn't do the whole rules thing. Yeah, well, it wasn't up to them. What do you mean? Shut up, will ya? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, Rex, do you know where the key to the outdoor shed up is? Up your butt. Up your butt? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, I know where it is. You gotta do something for me first. There's something in the attic. It's really special to me. Find it for me, and I'll trade you the key. <laughs> What did I find in the attic? The bag face? <laughs> oh, you found Harold! Thank you! Uh, I mean, thanks for finding this stupid thing. Been wanting to see its dumb face again. It's an inside joke. Here's the key to the shed. I ain't no liar. You do something for me, and I do something for you, you see? Nice. So 
Mr. Rex, do you have any I hobbies? I like hiding in wardrobes. No one ever thinks I also like okay, I, war I forgot about that. Wouldn't want to be. Okay. So I can ask him to go hide. I didn't light his candle. I'm pretty sure his candle slipped. He wanted some tunes on. Can I play this? This one's for you, D. You gained moxie points. Nice. Got any bullets? I guess I can spare a few rounds for my little homie. Ah, oh, ammunition. Now we can load the sidearm. Nice, loaded gun. Alright, what do we do now? We could probably go do a say quick save on the computer. We seem to be making some pretty good progress here. Where was the computer? It was, uh, it was downstairs. Another floppy disk. We got a bunch of these so far. Oh, battery. Nice. Yay, we got brain points. We got a brain, guys. I can't believe we have a brain. Oh, a brain is for the silly people. Yes, we have a brain. The brainy brains are just for us. We brainy, brainy brain. Huh. Can we have sex with Hillary yet? So, th Hey, you seem tense. Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax. You're oh, too oh. ugly to be talking like that. What a turn off. Oh, I'm man. I'm going to do my set. Oh, Holy Jesus. Try to splits there. That's some splits. Okay. We'll be back once we get our sexy recipe there. It's already filled to the brim with collectible lights. Eat faster, kitty! Would you like some pizza? Place pizza. Eat pizza. You gained muscle points. Yay! I'm strong. Strong as ox. <laughs> Strong as bear. As strong as bear ox. Ox bear. I don't have the sexiness points to, to bring my lady. To, ugh, that is a big turd. Can we flush that down? Like, oh my god. <laughs> that is a log. Can, where's the handle to flush this thing? You know what? Let's just yeah, leave it there. That's, that's, I should be proud of that. Check the fuse box and see if I can do anything. I should be proud. That's, that's what I should do. I should just be proud of that. Looks like the storm really did a number on this. Flipping it isn't going to work. Let me see if I can fix this. So yeah, this should do it. Brain checks. Nice. Oh, we got a barbell. Oh, yeah. Walking dude was talking about this. He said that you could use the weights to make yourself stronger. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, muscles. Just a bunch of junk. So, this... This has become a quest uh, to, to sleep with Hillary. That's, that's our job. We need to we need to sleep with Hillary. I got the shed key. Let's go to the shed. Okay, we 
got the key. Push. Why am I pushing the lock? of loose dirt. I can't dig it up with my bare hands. I mean, I don't have a shovel. Journal. They laughed at me again today. Tried to take off my mask since I can't go trick-or-treating like everyone else tonight. Jimmy Nelson punched me in the gut as hard as he could, or at least it felt like it. I wanted to cry, but I didn't. I won't let them get that out of me. I try, just tried to think about how tough Vic was. I didn't want to fight back and get suspended. That would just mean more time at the house, and that would mean be even worse than getting pushed around here. I just try to find a happy place and hope one day he'll leave us alone and we can be a kind of happy family again. Maybe if he was gone, then Vic would come back. The real Vic. The real Vic? Okay, we need to find a shovel so we can dig up this patch of dirt. Um, I guess we just need to look around and see if we can find a shovel. I, am, I would assume a shovel would be in like a tool shed or something, but like that is the tool shed, so that doesn't help us out very much. I mean, it doesn't have to be a shovel, it could be something else. Look around, see what we can find. I think we've already pretty much grabbed everything from most of these places. I can put it in the microwave. I don't have anything microwavable. I got a laxative. Oh, a laxative for the cat. Sorry, kitty. Time to oh, God! God, oh no! Sorry, kitty! Oh god! Oh god! I Oh, just put it a little! You didn't have to you didn't have to put the whole container in there! Oh god! Oh, oh. Dear Lord Jesus! I'm having nom flashbacks. I actually had a cat do that one time. That was oh Hmm. Is this not the... It says it's locked. So is this not the key? Uh... <laughs> uh... I can swear that was the key for that. What else is locked besides that? This door is not locked. I've already been in there. I already opened up the gun cabinet. We've got the gun. Not that the gun necessarily good. Uh, someone's at the door. Pizza's already here. Hip G is already here. Um. Hello. My name is Dr. Pleasant. I'm sure you have heard about the incident at the State Asylum tonight. I have come to warn you and the residents of this neighborhood that the individual known as the Ding Dong Ditch Ripper has indeed escaped captivity and could very well be heading this way now 
If he isn't already here, please do not answer the door tonight, no matter what. You got lucky this time. He is absolute evil. Can he be cured? No, not absolutely. Will he kill again? Absolutely. No, I mean, what's his name? Who was he before he killed and was admitted? Oh, uh, that would violate HIPAA. <laughs> that is one beast I do not wish to trifle with. I am Dr. Pleasant. I work at the State Asylum and was the DDDR's. <laughs> I have worked on him for a decade, ever since he was admitted as a child. After a couple of years with no progress, I realize something about him. He is not human. What is he then? Evil. Absolute, pure, unfiltered, premium cut evil. If evil was a man, it would be him. If evil was a sock, he'd be on your feet. If evil was a piece of toilet paper, you damn sure he's be between your cheeks and smelling like stank. <laughs> If evil was your father, he'd be your daddy. Okay, I get it. Who am I? No, oh, who are any of us? What will you do if you find him? I will prescribe him the only true cure for absolute evil. A dose of 44 caliber right between the peepers. Okay, please leave now. As you wish, then... I bid you farewell, and may the Lord watch over you this night. Okay. Don't answer the door again. We got lucky this time. That's what he said. So, shut the door and locked. Okay. We still never found the TV remote so we can play video games, which is unfortunate. We also can't convince Hillary to, uh, to be our booty cheek partner. Uh, there's gasoline, somebody said, in the thing. Maybe this is for this key? Oh, okay. Gas canister. You could probably pour some out if you're a pyromaniac. A pyromaniac? Why do I want to be a pyromaniac? And how do I get Hillary upstairs for some booty cheek living? Little bit of booty cheek living. Little bit of booty cheek. Booty, 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 cheek, cheek, and cheek, and booty, cheek, got the booty, booty, cheek, the little booty, booty, cheek. I don't know where the gasoline goes. I gotta figure that part out. <laughs> Break the fish tank. I don't know what to do from here. I got two floppy disks, so I still got two saves I can make. Hey, say, my string, it's uh, like I'm, oh, same it's thing. Oh, I never did light this. Light all the candles. Hmm, what's left to do? We've already talked to everybody. Uh, we haven't been in here yet, which we can't get in here because we don't have the key. I don't know where the key is. Huh. Maybe we haven't searched the attic thoroughly enough? I mean... It's creepy up there, but... Another key, I guess. 
we still haven't found. I think it's the last key of the lot, though. Saw you. Uh-oh. He's missing. Can we get this door to come in here now? He's, uh... Oh, I know what we need to do. This. There was nails holding this wardrobe shut. Um... the TV remote too. We're missing the TV remote. We still don't have a key. Um, I guess this is a place to hide. That's what this is. So I'm assuming we can tell everybody to go hide at some point. My guess is is that the boy has to hide in the crawl space. Um Hip G probably has to hide in that wardrobe. Um, I'm not sure where Hilda has to hide yet. There's probably hiding spots for everybody. That would be my guess. Smells like burnt toast. Oh, another floppy disk. That wasn't there before. Well, since they gave us like three floppy disks, let's go do a save since we have made some, made some significant progress. sure what's left to do here. We've got, um, TV can't be turned on because it's old. We don't have the remote. Apparently the button's stuck. There's a Nintendo here. We can maybe play some Nintendo games if we can get the TV run. We need a shovel or some type of digging implement to open up the, uh, the grave. We've got gasoline, but that doesn't help us with the grave. Actually, I'm not even sure what the... We've got... So we've got two floppy dusts, we've got a lighter, we've got the sticky back, crack, back scratcher, we've got a knife, a pendant passive item, a loaded gun, a flashlight, a hammer, and a gas canister. Kitty pooed all over the whole kitchen. Just all over the whole kitchen. Just, just deuced it right on up. Oh, I know. Hold on. Uh, well, actually we don't have that anymore, do we? what to do with the rest of this stuff. I'm sure we'll, we'll find it. I'm sure we will. It's gotta be a secret somewhere. I bet you there's like something hidden somewhere that we're just not seeing. Maybe a drawer that we haven't checked or... I mean, there's two wardrobes that you could potentially hide in. Actually, there's... What the hell? Did Rex do this? Void. Let's go talk to Rex and see if he did that. Yeah, we need to fix the hot dog for Hillary. Wouldn't wanna be? Wouldn't wanna be, yeah. I don't know how to fix the hot tub. Apparently you need a certain amount of brains to be able to engage in certain puzzles, and I just, I guess I don't have enough brains to fix the hot tub yet. And it kind of looks like... I don't think a hammer is going to do anything. There's got 
gotta be a shovel somewhere. It's the only thing I can think of. So we haven't seen a shovel or any kind of digging implement yet. I'm trying to kind of look around, but... I think I'm almost out of time. Oh no. I got a gun. I'm gonna shoot him. I mean, there's not a shovel or anything in here. That would be too simple for the shovel to be in the shed, right? burn things. So the question is, what do I want to burn? What do I want to burn? Burn, baby, burn, burn the house down. Seems like that might be the purpose for the, uh... All the bugs just stopped making noise. That's crazy as all get out. Oh. Now the rain sound is on the inside of the house. Uh oh. What the hell's going on? <laughs> What if I burn the turd? How about that? Can we burn the can we burn the whole house down? I don't want to accidentally burn the house down. That seems like it would be a bad thing to burn the house down. Just saying. Huh. Painting. It's a letter written to Pa. It reads, I hate it here behind these locked doors and barred windows. No dobros to ding or to dong. I'm coming home. Soon I can promise you that. He's calling to me every night. I can't sleep until I return. You never believed me when I told you about him, and I don't expect you to now. I almost hope for your sake that you have moved on from that awful house, but I doubt he would ever let you. I heard I have a little brother now. I can't wait to bash his brains in. Okay. Can't wait to bash his brains in. What a nice brother. Sounds like every uh, every brother I've ever had. Brothers usually like to bash your brains in. That's usually what they do. That's one of their favorite techniques. I'm starting to check things that I haven't checked before, like like rugs and paintings and and uh, I don't know, like maybe there's a hidden doojank under the rug or something. So, uh, <laughs> There's a rug in there too. Let's, uh, let's check this rug. In. Nope. Nothing with that rug. I don't believe I opened this though. I don't believe I did. I believe the door kind of opened itself. I 
like hiding if no one ever. I also like. It works! Got the old bean bag here. Bean bags, bean bags, look at all the bean bags. I don't know what the hell to do now. I'm doing all right. Trying to get my... I'll let you know, but that's... Okay. She fed the cat. She got the key. I mean... Sit here and think about it for a second. Fed the cat, got the key. Opened up the thing, got the gasoline. Found the grave that needs to be dug up, but we don't have a shovel. Um, we also have a small crawl space, which can't be opened because we don't have the key. So we're missing a key. We're missing a shovel. Um, we're also missing whatever it is that you have to do with the gasoline. The hot tub, we still haven't figured out at all. There's still something that we've got to do with the hot tub. So that's a whole nother thing. And then, um... <sighs> still have to have sex with Hillary. Um... I don't know. <coughs> I guess we don't have enough sexiness yet to 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 woo Hillary. There's got to be something I'm missing. So this hot foot killer. Powers out. It's been completely smashed. I can't fix this. Oh, okay. That's new. So now the power's out completely. Not turning on the TV now. Okay. It looks like it was on the Killer's already in the house. He's breaking the freaking breaker box. Of course, Hillary was in there. for me oh god Rex no 
Did he get Hillary too? Okay, he didn't get Hillary. Alright. So. I saved your life. Aww. You're too ugly. I saved Hillary's life. Too late. What does he got? A hammer? I got a gun. The hell? It's a note. It looks like it's from Rex. Dear Dumbutt, I know he's coming for me, so I lock myself away somewhere. Please don't look for me and get out of here. No one can stop him, and he wants me. Don't look behind the pictures for the key. Don't look behind the pictures. Pictures. Nothing. What you seek is within the mouth of my puppet. Come and retrieve it. Within the mouth of my puppet? The puppet is in the attic. <laughs> I need more sexiness. Sexiness, I do. I do need more sexiness. I don't know how to obtain more sexiness. It's a difficult thing. It's elusive. shines and then disappears. Oh, it saved me from death once. <laughs> I already killed you. Stay dead. I'm not allowed to get back up. That's not how this works. gonna kill me. Probably shouldn't have used all my bullets on that guy. <laughs> I tried to slice him, he wouldn't slice. Breaking news. This just in. Oh yeah? It seems that there were a string of killings tonight in a quiet neighborhood off the boulevard. At least one reported dead, but our eyes and ears on the ground report that more are likely. This is just hours after it was reported that a handful of inmates at the state asylum had escaped. It is confirmed that one of the escapees was none other than Vic Matherson, more infamously known as the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper. Don't touch that dial, as we will have more information coming in over the hour. Remember, folks, stay safe, and whatever you do, if your dong is ding tonight, don't you dare answer it. Yeah, don't answer it if your dong is dinged. If your dong is dinged, don't you dare answer it, okay? Don't you dare answer it when your dong is dinged. You were close to becoming yet another victim of the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper. They don't know how you managed to survive. Your broken body lies unconscious on the hospital bed. Luckily... 
So this was your ending. You have let all your friends down tonight. Rex, Hip G, Hillary were all slaughtered. Well, I'm sorry. You are broken both physically and mentally, and the killer is still loose, dinging and donging to his heart's content. Well, dang. Okay, just dinging and donging, huh? You will live to see another day. Perhaps you will overcome your pathetic nature and seek to re revenge, or perhaps you will stumble through life as a broken vessel haunted by either the fact that you allowed your friends to be slaughtered, or that the ding-dong ditcher got the better of you. Ending one of three. This is the worst ending you could have achieved. You are neither a hero to be celebrated. Wow. Okay. Rude. Rude. Let's go again. We can pick up from our save uh, file, and we can uh, we can go from there. Ding dong ditcher. Ding dong, the ding is dead, the ding is dead, the dong is dead. Ding dong, the dingy ding is dead. Dong ding, the doong is dead, the dingy dong, the dong is dead. Ding dong, the doongy doong is dead. Sorry, I had to go find it. Black Eyed Priest? All right. Oh, all my candles are out. Rude. For sure. For sure. Alright. Hey, he hid. Let's get Hillary to hide too. So Okay. Can't do anything else with them anyway. Alright. Is he hiding in the wardrobe? He is hiding in the wardrobe. Alright. Okay, so we still have the power on, so the bad guy hasn't showed up yet. We can't look for the key yet. What's that? Um, didn't I already do the newspaper? I have the newspaper again. Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell was that? Some prank. Yeah, some prank, alright. He just wants your wiener. Okay, <laughs> we still got the gun, right? And it's still loaded? Okay. I'm gonna light all the candles so we can see what the hell we're doing. I guess the save file doesn't keep the, the fact that we lit the candles as part of the do gang. So all of our candles are out. Should be coming here soon. Is there a candle in the bathroom? No. Usually we you need one the most. You're the neck cutter and you're one block away? Oh. So... Uh, 
to avoid that guy downstairs. I need to use my gun on the clown instead. A very realistic clown puppet. Hmm. Apparently some of the stuff got reset. Because he'll be behind me again. Okay, and then he's missing. We already did this too. Blue doorbell, green doorbell, red doorbell. What? I think we need him to disappear on his own. And the power hasn't gone out yet either, so that's also a thing. Hip G's hiding in there. Still can't do anything with the hot tub. Those doorbells were definitely new, though. killer comes out. What's the point of these? Oh, there's definitely a pattern here.
Colossus probably has something on it too, I bet. I already read this one earlier too. Uh. All the upside down crosses everywhere. I have the key for that. What do you want? Back up in the attic again. It seems like things are preceded by doing other things. Like you kind of have to go up and check on stuff, and like look at the creepy puppet. And the puppet didn't try to attack me yet. It tried to attack me last time, which is something that definitely happened last time, it didn't happen this time. And there's no, like, shovel or anything hiding up here. I want to see what's inside that, uh, that grave. There's got to be a shovel or a spade or something somewhere. I already checked this note, too. Even though I think since I reloaded the game, I might have to, uh to recheck some of the stuff to make sure it's progressing the story. hiding in there. <laughs> Big turd still in the toilet. Big old deuce. about perfect running form. Oh, I gained agility. Oh, there's books hidden on the bookshelf? I didn't know that. Maybe there's a sexiness book so we can finally lay down with Hillary. Let's check this other bookshelf. Is there like a special book on there somewhere? We need a sexiness book. We need a self-help sexy book. Killer's out. My boy's upstairs. Okay. Alright, now we need to go downstairs.
Okay. I think we did it properly. Gunmanship. We need better gunmanship. What's up, man? Oh, when I died, it took away a bunch of my stats. I got like no stats left. One brains, one moxie, zero seconds. your guts. Maybe a little gasoline would help. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a little gasoline would be nice. I mean, I would still have to, um, drop the gasoline, light it, and then maybe shoot him, and then bring him into the gasoline or whatever. That might be a, a way to do it. I don't know if that would work, but... For sure. Alright, let's get them to hide real quick. First. So... stats when the bad guy starts chasing us. It sucks. Agility points, yeah. They're all about hot dogs. There's nothing else in here but hot dog books. Hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. The hot dogs that you love to love. Hot dogs. Uh, we're hot dogs. Okay. And we got this stupid thing in here. Which is one. It's red, green, and then blue. Shovels out front. No, uh, it doesn't look like you can leave the porch. So, that's not helpful. Bad guy gets in anyway, so. be something specific that you need to burn. Like, it's gotta be. Like, there's gotta be a very specific... <laughs>
didn't even do anything. I don't even know what the hell to burn. Maybe we burn the couch. Maybe we gotta shoot the fish tank. Maybe there's a key in the fish tank or something. Hit it with a hammer. Oh, cool. I love fish. Okay, that's why you hit it with a hammer, because you love fish. Best, that's the best thing to do when you love fish. You hit the fish to take with a hammer. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we know what painting has the, has the new jacket behind it. Alright, so here we go. We're, gonna, uh, we're getting into the... Uh, into this part, so the door opens, we go in here, things are looking really spicy, um, I think I might need to go upstairs and do this thing real quick, look through the hole, so that it activates the, uh, the hole, and then also the puppets, apparently there's a real puppet, Look into the hole and see that the guy's missing. Creepy guy in the attic. Oh, where'd all my stats go all of a sudden? That was weird. When I'm in the attic, my stats go down? Wait a minute. Does specific areas of the house mean your stat go up? Like if I'm in the hot tub, does my sexiness go up because I'm in the hot tub? I still haven't figured out how to fix this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try burning the clown. I just need to trigger that part of it. That part of the game. It's a... It's a phase. I can't remember how to trigger that part of the phase. There we go. Okay, I have to find Rex. Go find Rex. Rex is upstairs. He says about the painting, you know, the keys being behind the painting. Now we never really looked behind like all the paintings. Okay. Let's try ringing the bells. Gotta get out of here, you're coming with me, get on my back. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Sorry. Pleasant! Yeah, boy! Dr. Pleasant. I still never dug up what was in the backyard. He's busy. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you so busy? I always knew he was my brother, you know. Mom and Dad would never say anything, but I just felt it. I knew he was coming back for me. I'm just glad you were here. Thank you. Uh-huh. I can't believe we made it. You're a real hero, you know that. Hey, if you need anything, your best friend Hip G is here for you. Glad you s I need to call my mama. She'll never believe what happened. Hey, that was really cool how you had our backs back there. Give me a call after all this dies down. I have a feeling neither of us will want to be alone. You are an incredible individual to have survived such evil. Yes. If you need any assistance processing what you went through tonight, please contact me. As for myself, I'm not sure how to feel now that Vic is no more. He has been my life's obsession for so long now. I didn't want to do what I had to do, but I could not allow any more innocent blood to be spilled. Anybody else to talk to? No, everybody else has already been talked to. I always Mom and Dad would never say anything, but I just felt it. I knew he was coming back for me. I'm just glad you were here. Thank you. Well, we successfully beat the game, but You are an inc if you need any as for We didn't get to sure sleep I'm with Hillary though. My life, but I could not we didn't get to chicka chicka bow wow 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 wow. Another night of restless sleep. I guess I should take those pills the doctor Pleasant gave me. He should. He said they should help. No, 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 no. We're gonna call up Hillary. And we're gonna get some swanky swanks. We're gonna swank a lang a dang a lang. Gonna swank a lang a lang. Gotta get the bang a dang. Swank a lang a pang a lang. Got a swanking, got a panking, got a swank, pank, a lank, a dank, a lanking. Where my phone at? Ah, oh, I can't use the phone. Bottoms up. Okay, fine. All better now, right? Can I call Hillary yet? I still got my do jacks. I got my flashlight. I got my hammer. Player. I wonder who that could be. Better look out the people first. Yeah, 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 people, people. There is nobody there. Weird, maybe somebody had the wrong address. Um, what was that? Hillary, are you in the closet? Answer me. Who put this here? Again? <laughs> After an intense hallucination, you are admitted to a state asylum where you will be observed in watchful eyes under the guidance of Dr. Pleasant. You are told your stay will only be temporary, but until nighttime and hallucination ceases, Dr. Pleasant believes that you can completely be cured and come to terms with the horrifying events that transpired that night, the night the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper came to visit. You feel strange, though, as if icy fingers are clawing at your brain during the long nights. Something is trying to reach you. Something is wanting you. Ending three of three. To be continued. So, I'm assuming that to beat this, we've got to... We've we've got to, we've got to do more of this. We've got to do more. We need enough sexiness so that we can we can be with Hillary. We need to be with Hillary. We need to be with Hillary. And that's the God-honest truth. You have to believe me. I have to believe Please. you? Please. Please help us. We don't know what else to do. 
he already took one of my boys. He... he just showed up one day, like he was family. Introduced himself as, uh, Uncle Herman Bean, and then went to live in the attic and won't leave. I know you like to keep a low profile, but... They say... They say that you handle things like this. Can you help us? Can you save my family? Uh, we got to do Hillary. We got to do Hillary. Let's see if we can find out how to do Hillary. Ah. I think we can do Hillary with enough sexiness. We just need to we just need a little bit more sexiness, that's all. Wait. This is more back in the beginning. Okay, I think I know how to do it. I think I know how to get Hillary. We're missing, I, I figured out what we were missing. Somebody had a little thing and I didn't even look at all of it, but uh, they showed me where something was that I didn't have before. And uh, now that I know where that thing is that I didn't have before, it should be really easy. The remote control, the remote control is apparently under um, his bed. It's right here. Didn't see it the whole time. I don't know how I didn't see it. I'm pretty sure I checked under his bed like 16 times. But, you know, whatever. Maybe there's some TV show around there that's got like some sexy stuff on. So I can... Public access, late night. Oh, they get the booty girls on there. Booty, booty, booty girls. Booty, booty, booty. Oh, she's taking it. Oh! Oh, okay. All right. Oh, look at that by the booty cheeks. Booty cheeks, booty cheeks. Man, she's taking it all off. Okay. This TV can't handle this. It's too spicy for this TV. Good Lord, how much is she doing that off? This is too hot for YouTube. That's what this is. She's going to take off the suspenders. Go big and uh, I think we got enough now. We got four sexiness now. Let's go. Uh, let's go see if we can we can sleep with the girl. So come on, baby, let's go. How do you seem tense? Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax. Sexiness check succeeded. Oh baby, <laughs> you gained muscle points. You gained boxy points. You gained agility hey. points. That wasn't half bad. Well... Careful now, or you just might have this girl head over heel. Can we go again? Can we go, can we go to us? You know, I mean, I'm still ready to rip it for more. Let's go, baby. So, this... Alright, go hide. Okay. And you... Go hide. For sure. Okay. All right, we got five moxie now. We got all the moxies. We got the extra moxies. We got so much moxies, we don't even know what to do with all the moxies that we got. It's extra, extra moxies. All the moxies. All right, good, let's save it. Might as well. All right. So now that we finally did it with the lady, let's see if we can get the other ending. Where the hell is the shovel? 
I wonder if we can find that. Let's go. Let's see if we can find out where the shovel is. Ding dong dead. Shovel location. Where is the shovel? We need a shovel, doot doot do 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 do. We need a shovel, doot doot do 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 do. Let's go skim through someone else's playthrough and let's see if we can find uh, find out where the shovel is. Scamming through the playthrough. What was that? Oh, they got a dad. They got, they got, they, they got a dead person too. Ha ha. Hmm. It don't look like they found a shovel. They didn't. They didn't find a shovel either. They found gasoline though. Shovel on the kitchen wall? Are you kidding me? Really? You mess up. That's a broom. A window that I never locked. Oh man, that's how he gets in. Uh, window I never locked. Oh, there was a kitchen window the whole time and I'm an idiot. That's how we got in. That's how we got in. He got in through the kitchen window. I got seven brain points. Hey, maybe I got enough brain points to do the, 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 uh, the hot tub now. Do I got enough brain points to do the hot tub now? I do not. This hmm. needs some more brain. They said that there's certain puzzles in here that you can't solve unless you have enough brain power. And apparently that was... I didn't know I could have seven brain power. That's a lot of brain power. Let's see if I can find out uh, how to do this. Yeah, it's a broom. It's a broom. I'm looking to see if anybody has any uh, anything on the on the shovel, but I can't find anything. Going through the going through the list. Doesn't look like he got the shovel either. What ending did he get? Ending three out of three. So he got. He got the asylum ending too. That's not the ending that we're looking for. We need we need the other ending. Which I'm assuming would be ending number two. Doing a quick quick check on this one here. 
So far, we've done everything the same as this guy, so nothing really has changed. He gets the, he gets the bullets, which is what we're looking for. He orders the pizza. Eats the pizza, so nothing's really changed there. He talks to the doctor. He gets the cat food. Makes the, <laughs> the freaking that jank is just terrible. Like when that cat freaking just <laughs> just projectile craps all over the place. It's, it's, that's 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 rough. That's rough is what that is. That's rough. Oh God. Oh God. Is this the second ending? What? The second ending is you end up in the Saint Asylum? Come in here, grab the note. Wait here for the decoration to trigger downstairs. Now you run. Grab the key from this painting here. Run upstairs, oops, wrong room. Go to this one here. Grab Rex, run down here. Now he might catch us on the way out, but we just run to the door and go. So I have a feeling that they've added yeah, more to this to game and they since, love you lot. since it was released because it doesn't seem like a lot of the original playthroughs that were about four months ago have what we're looking at in them. They don't have the shovel, which is... Apparently, this is something that's new. So when it was first released, there was no body outside. It looks like there's no hot tub either. So the hot tub and the body are new to the newest version of the game, which we don't... We don't... Uh, I don't know if we just don't have what it takes to be able to run the hot tub, or... I mean, at, at the very least, we don't have the shovel that we need to dig up the body or whatever the hell is buried in the backyard, which does seem to be missing. Let me do a specific search and see if there's anybody has found the shovel. Ding dong, dead. Um, grave in backyard. Anybody know about the grave in the backyard? We need to know. We need to know. Yeah, it looks like it's still pretty much too new. Nobody really has any information on it. So either we figure it out, or it's not getting figured out. I mean, I kind of assumed that it was maybe out here somewhere, but... I really don't know. Can I light these tiki torches on fire? That would be fire. Not lit. Hmm. 
Maybe instead of the shovel, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can search for the hot tub. Mm, this guy has a newer playthrough. It's only three months Do ago. Do I go knife him? He screamed like a little girl. He screamed like a little girl. He screamed like a little girl. Little baby girl screamed like a girl. Screamed like a little girl. Sex ed book. Did I try using the hammer on the tub? No, I did not. I did not try using the hammer on the tub. Or actually, no, I thought I did, actually, now that I think about it. He died a couple times. I don't know if he got the good ending. I think he died every single time. He got his booty cheeks clapped. He got his booty cheeks clapped. <laughs> Does it make something glow in the backyard? Yeah, the thing is, is there's nothing to interact with here. Maybe the hot tub isn't an interactable. Mm, I don't see anything glowing back there. Can't dig it up with my bare hands. I already tried burning that last time. Good point. Okay, it's called loose dirt. Let's instead of grave, let's search for loose dirt. whole lot of nothing going on. It's kind of uh, upsetting not to have everything like you know, correct. I want to. I want to get everything done. I want to find out what's in here. Like that's. I think that's the biggest thing. Is I want to find out what's inside the dirt. I can't dig it up with my bare hands, so I need something to dig it up. But I don't have anything to dig it up with. There's, there's nothing. I've collected everything in the game, as far as I know. I mean, maybe I could like combine together like some different things. No clue. That door's been open this whole time. Hmm. The trash man coming. I could use one of these chairs. That would work as a nice shovel. The whole chair <laughs> shovel. I could probably use this turd in here. It's big enough. Uh, I definitely didn't see that before. 
What the hell? There's just a hole in the ceiling. Um. I mean, if I went up that would be right here. Maybe that's what these do. See if there's any different order. So if you hit this one, then green, then blue. This is another puzzle that we really haven't solved, I don't think. Okay. And that supposedly solves that puzzle. Um, into the wall. No. <laughs> it definitely seems to be almost like a little room. And it also seems to have a black area up top like you could fall through up there. Like it's the attic. Maybe it's in the attic. <laughs> You can basically fall all the way down. But where the hell would it be in the attic? Behind these boxes? This goes down into that room, which means that it's in here. So it's in that room. That's where. That's where it is. Huh. How the hell do you get inside that room? I bet you that's probably where the shovel is, too. Because it's probably in that room where that creepy guy is. I think you can get in there. Because there's no other places to go. Sleep with the hoochie? I can't remember every step of the hoochie. Yeah. So. I mean, Hillary. I mean, Hillary. I'm sorry. She has a name. Hillary has a name. So. Okay. Please. We did. Okay. Completely smashed. Okay, so the bad guy's out now.
trying to think. If we kill him too, which we might be able to do with the fire, we can probably get him with the fire. We just gotta put the fire down, light it, and then shoot him, and then have him run into the fire. That's probably the easiest way to kill him. Man, he looked right at me, too. <laughs> he said hello. Man, let's do it right here. Not dead enough. Empty. Oh, well, we definitely can't win now because we can't get the clown without the uh, without the fire. We're done. It doesn't matter anyway because honestly, the uh, doesn't seem like we're gonna get any different ending than what we got before. Anyway, unfortunately. I don't think you can kill the clown with the gun anyway. I think you need the fire. I still think if you could get in here, that would probably be the ticket. The doorbells. And then we rescue Mr. 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 Boy. Can you make a run for it? I mean, the only thing different between this time and the last time is that we had sex with Hillary. That's literally the only thing. <laughs> Look, okay, but that's not the most I important Mom thing. And I'm just glad, thank you. Isn't I that the most important Mom and thing. Dad would, I'm just glad, thank you. It's the most important. If only we had a shovel. Is there a shovel out here? Maybe there's a sh Maybe we can use Hillary's booty. I can't shovel. believe we. You're real. Hey, if you need, I need to call. Hey, that was really cool. How you had our backs back there. Give me a call after all this dies down. I have a feeling neither of us will want to be alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. If you need any, as for, I'm not sure how he's been my, but I couldn't. How do we prevent him from killing us at the end? He tries to, he kills us at the end, That's which is rude. He's a very rude individual. Maybe we just, look, there's nothing in here now. Okay. Maybe we can nail the door shut, how about that? I mean, we've got some, like, tools. Yeah, I saw on a thing, we were pulled it up, it was, uh, Babysitter? I mean, we pulled it up and it basically was kill everybody. Like, if you kill everybody, that's an ending, too. But you literally have to kill everybody, your friends, the, the kid. It actually blurs out you killing the kid, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah. 
there's nothing here for me to do. Like, the only thing I can do is look on the pills. That's it. Nothing else. Mm. Can't call Hillary and ask her to come over and be my beautiful lady. I wonder who that is. What if I just open the door? Can't. That's a creepy butt hallway, I'll tell you what. Answer me, who put this in? I don't want to answer. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to answer. Hallucinations. Well, he believes that I can get better, so he believes I can be, per, per, you know, completely cured. So, even though I ended up in an insane asylum. An insane asylum. The Asylum of the Insane. Alright guys and gals, it's been fun. We played three games. We had some fun. All some horror games. Revenge of the Colon was only one of the two. Um, the, night, the Night Bus was okay, but it was also really short. I feel like it was just a really short game. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals joining me for these fun adventures, even when we're playing horror games instead of playing Diablo. And uh, I do have some ideas for some new content coming, so look out for some new videos. Uh, just a couple of new things, maybe for some Diablo 2 videos. And uh, also I was thinking about playing um, Final Fantasy VII, uh, the, the, re, uh, the new ones. Uh, I was gonna, Chunks was really interested in those, and I figured I'm about playing for Chunks. Chunks has been hanging around for a long time, so... You know, gotta, gotta, gotta look out for the fellow kinship members. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, guys and gals. And uh, if you enjoy the videos, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And as always, keep watching.